guess what, everybody? First look, my friend, it's good to have friends. You know, I have friends that work at gun stores and in the industry, and uh, I got a first look for you. You know, I have, you know, I have two friends that have uh, Airx pistols that I've done reviews on and I really liked, even though I'm becoming more of just a revolver or a single stack 45 guy because I want to make sure I'm good on weapon systems that may not have trouble. We'll see what the future lies. But anyway, one of my friends calls me up, says, bring your gear, your filming gear, and get over to the range. So I show up, and this is a first look. <coughs> really the first person uh, to get one, you know, on YouTube anyway, is my buddy letting me check it out. This is the Airx Delta Gen 2. This is the Gen 2 OR Optics Ready version. Comes with five plates. New grip that is pretty much stippled. Better traction on the sides than the Gen 1. It's not as hard. Some people got sensitive hands because it never worked. Uh, but much better traction. Good traction in the back and much better like skateboard tape grip in the front. Excuse the gunfire you hear in the background. And I'm bringing it to you first. The so guys, this is the first look and first shooting other than Mr. Guns and Gear real short video at an event. But this is the first one really out in the wild. Um, so hopefully you'll like this. And of the Gen 2s, it looks like the L's are the first to ship, which is the G17 size oh, uh, optics ready. So as I was saying, G17 size, but thinner, smaller, lighter, much lighter, especially the optics ready version. Metal sights, you can rack on the back sight, uh, ambidextrous. So, more grip, Gen 2 even better than Gen 1 it looks like so far. Stay tuned. All right guys, so the first shots with 124 grain before we go to 115. I always like to break in European pistols because the springs are usually stronger for NATO spec rounds or military rounds. Uh, so 124 to begin with, then we'll go to some 115. Comes with two awesome mags. This one with the extended base plate and uh, we're ready to go. The triggers on these usually take about 150 rounds to break in. And it actually feels, I don't know in the Gen 2, it feels like there's a stronger return spring on the trigger, which should make for a more rapid fire. if that's the case. All right, top left corner, five shots. If I don't shoot great today, I only slept like three hours, woke up an hour, and slept an hour and a half in medications and stuff. But uh, we'll see how it is. I'm a fast kind of combat shooter, not a target shooter. We'll see how I did. And here's the first five shots from the DLOR2 at seven yards with 124 grain. These two are touching, these two are touching, and that's the one I called. I pulled high right, so just a little high. All right, guys, as you saw, first five shots, really good. And a lot back with the DLORG. The Delta Log Optics Ready Gray Frame. Right? Alright. Another five with 124. And good function, extraction, ejection of the mag again. Okay, see I brought my aiming point down just a little bit more to bisect the red or towards the bottom of the red. One, two, three, right in there, four. So four within the circle and fifth I pulled high right there, but pretty good stuff. Okay guys, so the pistol's light. Like two ounces lighter than a G17 uh, MOS. Uh, but the OR version's very light. It's only 22.8 ounces, and this is the large compared to the regular Gen 1 Delta's 22.2 ounces which is very very light but you do feel it a little bit nose heavy because this is but that it probably is good um for you know muzzle flip reasons for a lot of shooters but to me this is all about being as thin as a single stack basically uh 1.18 inches wide and having this now version has everything a modern guy could want once you put an optic on it which i'm not an optic shooter but hopefully i can come back when my friend gets an optic in 
and uh, we'll see how it does then. Now we're going to go at about seven yards again before I start rocking and rolling, guys. Bear with me. We're going to go three rounds of 124 in the tee box and then three rounds of 115. I'm not sure if I'm shooting good enough today with that pistol I'm not familiar with to see if there's any difference in seven yards. It's probably so negligible in my shooting ability. I don't know if we'll be able to tell, but maybe you can see recoil difference or whatever. Uh, this is very, very, very high quality by competitive shooter uh, Koning, Atlanta Arms. I'm not with them or anything. I wish I was, uh, but been impressed with them in the past and uh, as well. Okay. We'll get it. Okay, there's the three headshots, seven yards with 124 grain. Two are touching, one a little high, but these are very thin, small targets. That's two inches. The fist is the whole head. So let's see where the 115 goes now before I start rocking and rolling. Okay, guys, let's see if it handles the 115 already. Usually, without you know ammo gating, I would break in more with 124, hand rack the slide more. European guns, stronger spun guns, 1911s, whatever to make sure it functions good. A lot of new shooters, they buy a Turkish gun and wasn't at a cycling. You gotta work it out. So let's see if this does already. If it doesn't, don't blame it on the gun. This is not broken in yet. And yes, there is such a thing when stuff is made for hotter European NATO type ammo. Okay. All right, let's see what we did. Gun's doing its job. I'm not really doing my job, but again, brand new, brand new pistol. Very small, very small head touch shots. One, two, three. Okay, guys, let's do three kind of controlled pairs before I start doing double taps with beaks. I don't believe in control pairs. I usually don't believe in double taps. I believe in triple taps, unless you're doing magnum calibers and you only got six or seven rounds to deal with three bad guys. But typically, I like to power on three. But We'll just uh, two 124, then four 115, just in case you guys can see any difference and I can feel any difference in the recoil that you can pause. Okay, loaded eight. Like this. <laughs> So here's the results, guys. I thought I only had six. You see a nice controlled pair there, 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 and I think this was my last one because I was surprised I had more ammo. Uh, it comes with four back straps, small, medium, large, extra large. The medium comes on it, and like the Gen 1, the large felt better to my friend as well as me, um, but comes with the medium. But obviously, uh, feels really good, uh, and nice new Gen 2 changes. Everyone left the range for now. Guys, I got nine rounds in, and um, one of the prisoners at the range has a holster that looks like it's kind of working, so it's pretty safe. And so I'm gonna use a holster. We're gonna rock and roll. I got a knife wheeling bad guy here at about five yards. I'm on the back, it will protrude if the trigger starts getting caught. It won't stop it, but if you go slow, it kind of will. But if, if a shirt's through the trigger guard, look at the full Delta review on full unboxing video. So I'm a little slow on getting to the trigger originally because this holster isn't exact for it. Okay, so I'm a little slow on the first shot. I dropped the shot low. There we go. The last time felt good. Okay, so pretty good, pretty good. Four upper thoracic hits, three, four in the inner zone, five upper thoracic good hits. One I dropped low, probably the second shot, and double tap over muscling this pretty light pistol. And it has a little weight out front that the regular Delta doesn't, um, from what I'm remembering. And then three good T box shots there. All right, guys, the Delta LOR is performing great. Got the knifer at three yards. You know, you're putting groceries away in the car. You just parked somewhere. You're pumping gas. And boom, suddenly a guy's there because he did a little ninja move, hid behind you or popped up between cars. And suddenly he's approaching. Hey, man, you got any money? Hey, man, what's the time? And his hands behind his leg. And then suddenly you're like, hey, dude, no, man, I don't got it. And boom, a knife comes out from behind his leg or from his waistband. You got to pay attention to that. 
So contact, make a fence. Get my four and a half hour competitive the street jiu-jitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. Oh man, hey man, back off, dude. Back off, whoa, let's grab it. And put three in his chest. Reevaluate the decision, fall him down, make sure he's not getting back up. Yeah, it happens all the time. They drop to a knee, but they go down and they get back up. Watch law enforcement videos. All right, let's see if I most beat him this time. Whoa, hey man, no, I don't got any, whoa, back up. And he's down that time. So on active self-protection, we saw a guy take three headshots, and the first one did almost nothing to the guy back here until it got more into the brain. It just took off the back lobes. Whoa, man, he's probably, no, I don't got any money. Whoa, back up! Oh, and beveled, beveled magazine well. Great additions on the Gen 2. Okay, let's try 15 yard headshot. I'll do two actually. So, pretty good, and that's a little high for me, but obviously in there, and they're both pretty centered to his T box there. So, that's not bad, except that's a little high, but that's me, the gun's mechanically accurate. It's the zombie apocalypse, and Daniel from the uh, Fear the Walking Dead just pulled the gun at me from seven yards. Let's do three fast fives. Alright guys, as you see, all 15 were upper thoracic. Those were three fast fives. Five are touching horizontally here, right along kind of where his spine would be. Somewhere here, maybe here, would be curving. So it's all spinal, all upper thoracic, right in, I guess, uh, I guess, you know, what is that, an eight inch pie, five inch hand? Anyway, guys, to wrap up, the Rex, Delta L O R is pretty awesome. I mean, obviously it's the first time. I'd like to do a full review. This kind of was first impressions. It's awesome. I like the Delta. I, I like my friend's Delta. I like my friend's Alpha. Friend got the Delta L for large, like G17 size, but it's thinner. It's like two ounces lighter. It comes with optics plates. It's got metal sights. It's ambidextrous. It's already got a nice ergonomic grip with four different that actually fit nice because it's thin. It's as thin as a single stack. It's easy to carry. Uh, I think you guys will like it. Please thumbs up, share, look at my Delta, subscribe. And guys, please support my new Patreon page, Catch Jitsu, my new Patreon page. Uh, please subscribe to my page, uh, and please subscribe to my Patreon page. Help me out as I deal with lupus, fibromyalgia, probably dying from either Addison's d disease or pituitary uh, tumor. So please, guys, it would really help me out. Subscribe, thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the flip side.